Okay. We're going to be starting this game now. My name is Saber, and this is Charlie, and we're going to play Jumpstart Second Grade. Sorry for moving the screen around. I'm trying to make sure it fits. Okay, let's go. Okay, fine. Neat. All right. I remember playing Jumpstart Second Grade back in the day. It was awesome. Now it's been reduced to an MMO by Hoffman Mifflin Harcourt, along with the other games. It's all one apparent universe. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. doing oh dear you just ate the sticker I mean, uh, the hello. I didn't notice you there you look familiar uh, but then again maybe you don't can't tell anymore you know my eyes aren't what they used to be but you're just in time the mail truck is on its way if you're new just type your name on this card and I'll get you all signed up for the Jumpstart Pen Pal Club. You'll get mail from all over the United States. If you've been here before, just find your name on the list here and click. If you don't see your name on the list, use the pencils to scroll up and down until you find it. See that send button down there? Yeah, the green one. You can see better than me anyway. Just click there when you're ready. So my brother just ran off. <laughs> I think he's afraid of something. I don't know. He's funny that way. They certainly don't make games like this anymore. Hello. Hey, the bookshelf is moving. There's an elevator back there. Oh, it's the uh, anthropomorphic frog. Psst, follow me. There's an adventure underfoot. Whoa, it's talking. whoa! Hey, liver lips, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, the talking <laughs> firefly. Hey, okay, Edison, you can come too. <laughs> I don't get any respect around here. <laughs> uh, right. Come on, we don't have all day. This is a good hopper. <laughs> Bet you'd never guess there was an elevator back here. An adventurer needs to be prepared for everything. Oh, Will brother. Will that be sporting goods, home appliances, or furniture? First stop, the secret clubhouse. That wasn't Here a we question. Go. first stop. My name is CJ, and this is my pal, Edison. Pleased to meet you. We're here to help you out and guide you on all of your adventures. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Not so fast. You forgot to mention the mail. Good thinking, Edison. There are two ways to explore, the stamps mode and the adventurer mode. You're always in the stamps mode. That means that when you succeed at any of our games or activities, you win points towards stamps. 
Every time you get 100 points, you win a brand new animated stamp. You can collect stamps in your own stamp book. Mr. Brewster, the male bird, will help you out. But for your convenience, we'll add this stamp to keep track of your points. That'll follow you everywhere you go. The second way to play is the adventure mode. As a Jumpstart pen pal, you'll get letters from kids around the country. Your pals will challenge you to a bunch of different tasks. If you solve their challenges, they'll send you really cool postcards from their home states. How about showing us a sample, Edison? If you insist. <laughs> this is a map of the whole United States. There are 50 states in all. You are going to be getting letter challenges from kids just like you in all of these states. When you solve a challenge, the home state of the pen pal who sent it will light up. Like this one. That's Florida. Dear pen pal, thank you for the great picture. I am putting it on my wall at home. Your friend, Juan. <laughs> Cape Canaveral in Florida includes the Kennedy Space Center, where the space shuttle blasts off. CJ already solved that challenge for you. Try to solve all the challenges and light up the whole map. To play a challenge, you'll have to wait till Mr. Brewster brings you some pen pal letters. No sooner said than done. <coughs> Click on the mail room and Mr. Brewster will help you get started on an adventurous challenge. Or you can go to any fun activity and just start playing for stamp points. There's a lot you can do in the clubhouse. Edison, will you do the honors? Do I look like a tour guide? Click on the jukebox to play a new song. There's the water cooler if you want to play the bubble game. That branch will lead you to the fruit tree, where Edison will show you a game of concentration. You can take the ladder to the lookout, but that's only for the seasoned adventurer, ready to face danger and peril. <laughs> the computer is there if you feel like typing anything you want. An adventurer always wants to improve. If you want to see how you're doing in a subject area, just click on the report card on the wall. Or explore the clubhouse on your own. Try clicking on anything you see. You never know what you might find. <laughs> so yeah, these old games actually have some clickable points here. Like this one. Yeah, yeah. You'll find all kinds of stuff here. Oh, it's a, it's a tentacle. Oh no, is that? Oh, it's a skunk. What are everybody's looking for? Line whistle. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a challenge now. Charlie, you've got some mail. Click there if you want to read your letters. All right. Dear pen pal, I am writing to you from Alaska. My name is Cindy. Can you write a silly story and send it to me? Sincerely yours. Cindy. You can choose to work on this pen pal challenge, or you can look at another. Click on the play envelope if you want to accept this challenge. Click on the next envelope if you want to read another pen pal letter. Let's do this one. I think that's a good one. There are some really silly stories on the bookshelf in the classroom. Why don't you try there? Yeah, but first we need to um get some points for that first postage stamp so why don't we um, go outside click on the letter icon if you want to hear your challenge again uh. tail hi how about another one a little help <laughs> So am I supposed to look for synonyms or antonyms? Hi. Oh, homophones. Hi. How about another one? I'm supposed Hi. to look for homophones. Hi. 
I think you're very close. Blue. Hi. How about another one? Hi. Hi. You got it. Break. Ant. How about another one? This is going to take a while. Blue. Ant. I think you're very close. Ant. Ant. Great job. Oh, I should probably explain this puzzle since he conveniently forgot to explain it. So, all you have to do is choose two objects or two fruits from this tree here. You have to find two matching words that almost sound the same. Or should I say, or in other words, you have to find homophones. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. I think you're very close. Give it another try. Which? Two. Nope. How about another one? Blue. Tail. I think you're very close. Tall. Break. How about another one? Break. Break. Great job. Tall. Tail. How about another one? Blue. Blue. Yes. You got it. Tall. Tall. That's right. Two. Two. That's right. Tail. Which? I think you're very close. Tail. Tail. That's right. Which? Which? Good show. You got them all. Oh, it's a worm on So, you want to play concentration? Well, this is a very special kind of concentration game. In this game, we're going to match pictures. One half. One half. Oh. You got it. <laughs> Fractions. One sixth. One third. I think you're very close. One fourth. One third. How about another one? One sixth. One eighth. How about another one? One third. One third. That's right. One eighth. One eighth. Great job. One sixth. One sixth. That's right. One fourth. One seventh. I think you're very close. One fifth. One ninth. How about another one? One fourth. One seventh. I oh think dear. you're very one fifth. One fifth. That's right. One ninth. One fourth. How about another one? One seventh. One fourth. Nope. How about another one? One fourth. One fourth. You got it. One ninth. One seventh. I think you're very close. One seventh. One seventh. That's right. One ninth. One ninth. Good show. You got them all. Uh. Let's play again. You can stay in the letter challenge mode, and I'll keep reminding you about it. Or you can go back to the mail room and put it away. <laughs> An adventurer is always equipped to handle the most grueling circumstances, and the fish tank is no exception. The goldfish is very hungry. Can you help feed it? fish really like worms. Click on a worm in Edison's jar and click on the correct bubble. The goldfish will gobble it up. You only have a few worms, so use them carefully. A bunch of food bubbles are about to be dropped into the tank, but the goldfish can only eat the right bubbles. Click on the treasure chest to get started, and the starfish will show you which bubbles the fish can eat. Just click on the treasure chest. Round one. Numbers greater than 54. 92. Oh, no. Take another look at the starfish. You, 76. Great. 71. Great job. 59. Great job. 98. Great job. We gotta watch those jellyfish. They don't like those. 81. Great job. You ran out of worms. <laughs> Round two. Odd 
numbers. That's some numbers ending in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, right? Got it. 75. Yeah. Great job. 21. Great job. I don't like 85. Great job. 49. Great job. 89. Great job. 90. Oh, oh shoot. Looks sick. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Round three. Odd numbers. 33. Great job. 1. Great job. 19. Great job. 91. You got 83. Great job. Seven. Great job. 33. You got it. 35. You got it. <laughs> You'll have to get the bubbles before they hit the floor. <sighs> Round four. Even numbers. 56. Great job. 52. Great job. 6. You got it. 60. You got it. 82. You got it. 88. You got it. 72. Great job. 68. You got it. 76. You got it. Round five. You'll have to get the bubbles before they hit the floor. Numbers less than 61. 17. Great job. 23. You got 24. You got it. 52. Great job. 20. Great job. 43. You got it. 5. Great job. 51. Great job. 46. You got it. 52. Great job. Nice. You just got 39 bubbles. Yay, I win. What do I win? <laughs> well, I got eight points out of that, so. Click on the treasure chest. If you don't want to try this challenge, you can go back to the mailroom and try another. Click on the classroom floor if you want to go to the bookshelf to solve your challenge. The classroom. I'll keep watching the elevator, Edison. You can handle any danger that might come up in here, right? If the chalk decides to stage a hostile takeover, I'll let you know. Ha, ha. That's the spirit. Now, let's get down to business. See that easel over there? Click that if you want to draw, paint, color in a piece of famous artwork, or put stickers on a neat background. See that chalkboard? Click there for some neat songs about nouns, verbs, and adjectives. You know what they are. That bookcase has a great selection. If you want to read and write your own story, click there. That's my favorite, so I'll even help you out if you need me to. Now that science book down there has a halfway decent tune that you can hear if you click on it. What else? Oh, yeah. The room is at your fingertips. Click on anything to see what you might find. The bookshelf is behind me. 
You can find your story there. Cool. <laughs> Here, do. <laughs> yeah. I could like spam that all day. to business. Welcome to my humble abode. Living room to my right, reading room to my left. We have a fine selection of reading materials. We've got adventures in adjectives. That's a good one. Old green toads would like that. Then there's very scary verbs. Not for the light-hearted, but then again, not a sleeper either. And last but not least, there's knucklehead nouns. Self-defeating stories of whim and folly. So there you go. Just let me know which one you want by clicking on it. I uh, think your pen pal wants a silly story. How about knucklehead nouns? That's a silly one for sure. <laughs> yeah, let's knucklehead do Knucklehead nouns. You can choose one of these stories from the table of contents. Clarence the Clown. Grandma and the Bear. I really like Clarence the Clown story. It's really neat. Clarence the Clown by Mark Towner. Some of the words have come off the pages. Well, snap to it, kid. You'll have to put the words back into the blank spaces. Nice guy that I am. I'll even help you out. I put some clues under the blank spaces. Here are some words that may go in the blanks. So, pick them up, move them, do whatever you want. Just get them in the right place. You have to put the words in the right place. Look at the clue under the blank. There can be more than one answer. Your story can be different every time. If you don't know what a word means, drag it over to me and I'll tell you. Looks like this book needs some nouns. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Like Jenny, Alaska, and book. Cool. Alarm clock. That was a good choice. Shoes. Good job. Um. Carrot. Oh, I like that one. Looks like this book needs some nouns. Mother Clown. That was a good choice. Rake. That was a good choice. <laughs> uh. Nose. Oh, I like that one. Car. Good job. Clarence the Clown by Mark Towner. Clarence the Clown woke up very late one morning and tossed his alarm clock onto the floor. <laughs> he ran to his closet and pulled out a pair of red shoes. Clarence put on the rest of his costume and began to eat a carrot. Suddenly, the phone rang. It 
it was Mother Clown who said, Hurry up, you are late. Hurry up. Clarence ran out the door and tripped on a rake. He fell flat on his nose. Clarence looked up, smiled, and said, Well, that's how I became a clown. That's how I became a clown. He got into his little car and zoomed away. I think you solved the challenge. You did a great job. Click on the letter icon to send a reply to your pen pal. Yay, I got 10 points. But unfortunately, it's still not enough. Yeah. We have a fine selection of reading materials. Um, I want to play another game. You can so... check out that easel for art, the chalkboard, or the bookcase for some fun reading. There is chance and uncertainty with um... each of these perilous locations. Oh, brother. Uh, how about, um... Let's try the, uh, boiler room. The boiler room. Sir, where'd you go? Hmm. Oh, well. The boiler room is cold and dark. Let's get our recycling done quickly. Click on that wall with the recycling bins when you're ready. Hey. Rule number three of the adventurer. Always recycle. It's good for the environment. When I pull this trash handle, be prepared for the recyclable objects to start coming out of any chute. Your job is to get the objects in the right bins. You'll have to use these pipes above me for help. Click on a pipe and drop it along the path of the object to change its direction. I'll help you get started by calling out the names of the objects. Click on the trash handle to get started. Oh, so that's where he was. That was quite a ride. Glass. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. Aluminum. You gotta be fast in this kind of thing. <laughs> Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Cardboard. <laughs> Paper. That's one more object. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Cardboard. Glass. That's one more object. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus, and you'll get extra points. Paper. Plastic. Aluminum. That's the way to go. That's one more object. This is fun. just recycled nine objects. If you want to play again, just click on the trash handle. All kinds of things will come tumbling out. 
as Captain Planet used to say, reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah, he really popularized that. Plastic. I could change the difficulty, but I'm not going to right now. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. Aluminum. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus, and you'll get extra points. Cardboard. Aluminum. That's the way to go. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Cardboard. Paper. That's one more object. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Paper. Glass. Aluminum. That's one That's more object. just recycled nine objects. <laughs> if you want to play again, just click on the trash handle. Let's All play kinds one more of time. things will come tumbling out. Aluminum. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. Glass. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Glass. That's the way to go. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Glass. Paper. One more Keep object. Keep trying. See how much you can recycle. There's a bonus in this round. Try to redirect your object to hit the bonus and you'll get extra points. Paper. Glass. Plastic. That's the way to go. To go. Great job. You just recycled nine objects.
If you want to do a little more recycling, just click on the trash handle. All kinds of things will come tumbling out. The elevator can take us on all kinds of adventures. Hmm. We got some selection here. Let's try this one. Cave writings. Neat. Oh. Hold on there, fancy feet. What is that? Oh my gosh, it must be a foreign cave-dwelling amphibian. Nah, it's just an insect. Rather big one, though. A little tardy there, wouldn't you say? I've been sitting here waiting all day. Look, Shakespeare, we don't have time for the poetry contest. We've got to get to that wall over there so we can crack this code. Capiche? My friend, you're mistaken. I mean you no harm. The fear you detect is my personal charm. I'm a caterpillar. I get no respect. People say I'm just a grubby, chubby insect. Harvin, pesticide, denied, brushed aside, stepped on by shoes. your bridge can we please go my bridge to ask that's so little but not until you solve my next riddle I've got an idea you are an insect and you want to dance how many legs in this circumstance gosh Edison I don't know the answer can you help us out click on the right answer Click on me for a clue. Three, six, twenty, eight. Six. You got it. Woo! <laughs> Yippee! Rats. You know, that was a great to song. The cave writings. <laughs> An adventurer is always prepared to decode secret messages. Edison, show us the clue. Coming right up. What language is that? Braille. 
click on the arrow to change to the right language. Just click on a letter or sign and drag it up to the blank spaces. Braille can be read by blind people. <laughs> okay, so that's no flashy letter. <laughs> So, that was a great song, wasn't it? I. Ow. Oh no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> okay. E. Yeah, he had a really good saxophone H. solo there. I guess he gets the tenor sax or something. A. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> Great job. Behave. What is our next clue, Edison? Coming right up. What language is that? Braille. Again? Oh, all right, all right, fine. Uh, there's one with two dots. Oh. some fairy dust. How does he have fairy dust? What language is that? Braille. Okay. So CJ had an interesting guitar over there. I don't think I've ever seen a two-string guitar. I don't think so. But Edison was making those Bond of Ghosts sing. Yeah. Alright. Um, we're gonna be right back and finish off this mission. Shall we?